Jake Paul and Mike Tyson have agreed to a global live sports event where they will be boxing each other on July 20th at the massive AT&T Stadium in Texas. Yes, you heard that right. The YouTube star turned boxer Jake Paul will be stepping into the ring against one of the most legendary and feared heavyweights of all time, Mike Tyson. This match will be streamed worldwide exclusively on Netflix in what is being billed as potentially the biggest combat sporting event ever. Just let that sink in for a moment. To fully comprehend the audacity of this situation, we have to look at the path Jake Paul has taken to get to this point. The 27-year-old first gained fame in his youth through his popular YouTube channel, earning him a very lucrative stint as a Disney star actor and personality. But a few years back, Paul abruptly transitioned away from that family-friendly image and set his sights on the combat sports world. He sold himself as this anti-hero, heel-like persona while talking himself into increasingly higher-profile boxing matches. At first, he was dismissed as a complete joke, taking on way overmatched and undersized opponents like retired NBA player Nate Robinson, whom Paul viciously knocked out back in 2020 on the undercard of Mike Tyson's exhibition fight against Roy Jones Jr. From there, Paul's confidence grew more outlandish as he called out legitimate boxers and champions like Canelo Alvarez, badly antagonized prospects like Ryan Garcia, and claimed he wanted only the toughest challenges imaginable. To Paul's credit, he did begin to step up his competition in recent years as he transitioned from cruiserweight to heavyweight. He took on former UFC fighters like Ben Askren, Nate Diaz, and Muay Thai legend Anderson Silva, using his considerable athletic advantages to overwhelm those aging veterans. However, the Jake Paul experience hit some road bumps last year when he suffered his first pro boxing loss via a decision against the unheralded but skilled Tommy Fury. That proved that for all his athletic tools, Paul's lack of foundational boxing skills would prevent him from being taken seriously against true professionals in their prime. Have a look at his big loss against Fury. Looking to get back on track, Paul has since scored a pair of first-round knockout wins over extremely low-level opposition in Andre August and Ryan Borland earlier this year. But clearly, none of those wins would satisfy Paul's insatiable ambitions for more lucrative spectacles against true legends. And that's where this completely unforeseen exhibition against the iconic Mike Tyson comes into the picture. A dream opportunity that Paul could never have imagined just a few years ago has become a reality. In Tyson, you've got inarguably one of the most formidable and revered heavyweight boxing champions ever. Iron Mike was an unstoppable wrecking ball throughout the late 1980s, rising to become the youngest heavyweight titleist ever at age 20 by cutting through opponents with ferocious power and paralyzing intimidation. Even now, at age 58, Tyson remains a globally known figure with a permanent aura and mystique all to himself. His highlights of those blistering knockout wins over opposition like Michael Spinks, Frank Bruno, and Larry Holmes are legendary. When it first surfaced that these two highly contrasting personalities from vastly different generations would somehow be sharing a boxing ring, the reaction was one of absolute bewilderment and disbelief. How could this mega exhibition happen? given the discrepancy in accomplishments, experience levels, and the age gap between the two fighters. As you'd expect, the bookmakers have immediately started weighing in with their projected betting odds for this clash of the generations. Despite being 58 years old, Tyson is deemed the favorite to win this fight. Those sorts of odds make it seem like the average gambler believes Paul has little to no chance of pulling off this massively unprecedented upset. Roy Jones Jr., who competed against Tyson in a 2020 exhibition, chose Tyson over Paul. He also claimed that Paul just wanted a big payday. Many shared Jones's cynical views that Paul is simply chasing a massive lucrative event rather than a genuine competitive challenge. There's also widespread skepticism that this bout will even be sanctioned as an official boxing match, given Tyson's advanced age. Whether this ends up being classified as a full-fledged professional boxing match or more of an entertainment-focused exhibition bout remains to be determined by the athletic commissions. In the official announcement, Paul issued a statement hyping it as the biggest fight in history. I'm stepping up to face Tyson to see if I have what it takes to beat one of boxing's most notorious fighters and biggest icons. We're about to produce the biggest fight in history, a fight in the biggest NFL stadium in the US. 
broadcast live on the biggest streaming platform in the world. For his part, Tyson seemed to be embracing the spirit of the exhibition with his quote, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a GOAT. It's a full circle moment that will be thrilling to watch as I started his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones. Now I plan to finish him. Regardless of how legitimate or safely regulated the actual fight action ends up being, there's no denying the immense mainstream appeal and spectacle value surrounding this event. Nakisa Badarian, co-founder of Paul's Most Valuable Promotions Company, perfectly captured the crossover appeal in this statement. Six generations of boxing fans will have a stake in the outcome and will be able to watch an anti-hero, Jake Paul, put it all on the line against the baddest man on the planet. You've got the classic heroes versus villains storyline playing out here in the boldest way possible. Tyson is the aged but still menacing legend looking to punish this loud-mouthed upstart. Paul is the fearless risk-taker challenging all doubters and conventions. It's about dripping with heated anticipation already, with fans firmly planting their allegiances with one side or the other. Will Tyson beat Paul with his experience, or will the age advantage play in favor of Paul? We'll have to wait and watch. You can already envision the sort of bizarre scenes at the pre-fight promotion tour, with Tyson's iconic menacing aura butting up against Paul's Generation Z, social media star swagger and antics. Sparks are sure to fly at every turn. Then you've got the sheer magnitude of putting this mega event exclusively on the Netflix streaming platform, which will no doubt elevate this narrative to true mainstream levels. Boxing is one of those last remaining sporting events that can drive massive audiences and crossover appeal when the stakes and personalities align correctly. By making this fight an easily accessible stream for Netflix's worldwide subscriber base, you're multiplying the potential viewership numbers exponentially. The more casual audiences will be enticed by the jarring contrasts and spectacle appeal at play. But even the hardcore purist fans will be compelled hate watchers, either reveling in Tyson's potential redemption or appalled at the sport's continuing detour towards pure entertainment products over legitimate competition. No matter which side you fall on, you won't be able to tear yourself away from this viral moment months in the making. No matter how you analyze it from a sporting perspective, though, this exhibition has to be considered a massive win for both Tyson and Paul's brand profiles and wallets. Both men are practically guaranteed their biggest ever paydays for an event of this magnitude, with revenue projections ranging well into the nine figures. The more controversy swirling around the buildup, the higher the anticipated buy rates will become. These two iconic yet polarizing figures will be squaring off at the AT&T Stadium in Texas on July 20th in the most audacious exhibition match conceivable. While many pundits are deriding this as an illegitimate sideshow, there's no denying the potential for this event to become an all-time cultural spectacle. That's all for today, folks. Are you excited about this match or disgusted about the fact that Jake Paul went on to challenge a retired elderly boxing legend? Tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed today's update, like this video, subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon for more exciting updates.